Oh my god. Yes! Show me a move! I feel like I need a secondary. Well, considering... The, considering the top Kazuyas do very well against uh, Game & Watch consistently... Yeah? But yeah, Kazuya does seem like a, like just a, a good choice as a secondary for me. Covers a lot of matchups. But the thing I like most is this. When people want to ban against Falcon, they want to get rid of the platform heavy stages. Which means, suddenly Kazuya has FD available. Oh no. Likewise, let's say people start becoming afraid of my Kazuya, right? Then they decide, well, I'm going to get rid of FD because I'm afraid of Kazuya. Now suddenly they're not banning enough for Falcon, and now Falcon gets his best stages. It kind of forces pe people in a lot of damned if they do, damned if they don't situations. And that sounds really useful to have. Do I watch any anime? Uh, not really. I'm not like opposed to watching anime, but I've watched very little. There's some stuff that I think is really cool, but there's a lot of stuff that's very common in the anime world that I just absolutely cannot stand in the slightest, which turns me off from a lot of it. There is some base stuff to my tastes though. Big fan of Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Cowboy Bebop and Textualize uh, as an example. Roy doesn't really serve a purpose as a secondary burrito. At that point, why are you even a Falcon main? It's like, Roy is just a better Falcon. Why would you secondary a better version of your character? That's like being a Bowser Jr. main and saying, I'm gonna secondary Sonic. At that point, why don't you just main them? And I, I'm not gonna abandon Falcon, so Roy's out of the question. We've literally had several players in Georgia have a similar phenomenon. There was a period in time where Stain, a local Falcon in our community, was co maining Falcon and Roy. And he's like, why am I even bothering with Falcon anymore when I can just play Roy? So he just dropped Falcon. But then he stopped having fun with the game because he just loves Falcon. And so then he went back and then dropped Roy like a year later. Because he's like, what's the point in playing both of them? I'll just play who I love, which is Falcon. And they lose a lot of the same matchups. 
Well, they lose some of the same. Obviously, Roy loses less because he's just better, but... They don't really cover each other. Oops. That's pretty much the, what happens in every region that becomes like good if they weren't necessarily before. They had someone get really good. And it helps everyone else get really good. Hell, the, the same thing was kind of happening in Smash 4 where we had a lot of good players, but none of, for the most part, we weren't really doing anything on a, mash, on a national level. We just had good players, we were like, yeah, George's got some solid players. But we were just a hidden boss region, basically. But then I started top baiting shit, and a lot of the other Georgia players who were like, playing me were like, wait a second, I beat Fatality at local sometimes, and he's top baiting majors. Why don't I start pushing myself, and maybe I'll start doing that. And before you know it, all the other Georgia players started catching up, and... Georgia's a powerhouse region at this point. You, you just need that one person to just break through first. All right, we're a quarter of the way there. Nice. Best USA states at Smash, like New York, Georgia, Florida, New Jersey, California. I think number one is probably New York, and then Georgia's probably number two. Let's go, Sora being light. Aw, oh, not light enough. Take those. They probably wouldn't want me for the roster.
Oh. Alright, good games. Uh, I don't think Falcon's F, -Sma F Smash is particularly good, GQ Boy. It's kind of an awkwardly positioned move. There is often very little, like, good applications for it. It doesn't really have enough good range to where you can, like, use it as a spacing tool. It kind of has an awkward place in his kit where almost everything else he has is just better. In at least some way or another, so why why would you use it when you can use those other moves in those situations, you know? The only real exception is like when you get down throw or a downer at percents where you can't combo into knee, but it's just high enough to work in combo and death smash, which that does happen sometimes. Oh my god. So... One double away from hitting the 30s. You love to see it. Not like this. 